Hey art fans, Steve here from NVIDIA. Every artist has aspirations to escape creative limitations and at times the world around them. Adobe 3D is an amazing vehicle that empowers artists to go on incredible adventures. Let's explore how these creative Houdinis use Adobe 3D to become the ultimate escape artist. We're kicking things off with a special guest, Vladimir Petkovich, a bona fide 3D artist whose extraordinary talent landed him a creative director gig at Adobe. Now, how cool is that? Vlad is very familiar with the art of escape, having grown up in a war-torn country. To escape years of isolation, he became a CG artist to build new worlds, relying on his imagination to fill the void. Let's take a look at The Outsider. This piece of art was born from a collaboration between Adobe and the Natural History Museum in London. The project involved the creation of a fantastical insect that became the hero of the outsider artwork. All right, here's the story. After moving to the West Coast, Vlad fell in love with a beautiful redwood forest and decided to build a realistic natural environment that's populated by elements from his favorite trails. So Vlad dove deep into photogrammetry, a method of creating highly realistic 3D models using photographs as inputs. Combining photogrammetry with Adobe's 3D tools like Substance 3D Sampler and Stager was clever because it helped Vlad bring his vision of a natural landscape to life in 3D. And to cap off his creative journey, Vlad added a unique insect he made to the environment for its whimsical vibe, because as you can see, it stands out from the rest of the scene. And looking at these colorful plush-like materials, my arachnophobia has been mitigated. Unique creeping things aside, it's also clear that Vlad loves motorcycles. He finds the simplicity of design, mechanical quality, and raw power appealing. When Vlad first laid eyes on the Magpul Ronin motorcycle, he instantly envisioned Batman cruising the streets of Gotham on the Bat Pod. The design is polarizing. You either love it or hate it. Those are the kind of models that inspire Vlad to recreate them in 3D. Usually, you need blueprints to build a hard surface version of an existing object, but Vlad didn't have that. So he just eyeballed the design using reference photography. Vlad also did a custom paint job in Substance Painter. It's not a one-to-one -one replica, but he's satisfied with the final result, and so am I. To Vlad, CG art and artistry means freedom, an art that empowers him to escape his surroundings and create his own custom-tailored reality. And no doubt he'll continue his creative journey with Adobe as his vehicle of choice. Next up is the wonderful, spectacular Kartika Dewey, a graphic designer with a colorful, illustrative style who happens to live for sunny days and sweet things. Kartika draws inspiration from her daily life, traveling, wildlife sanctuaries, safari parks, and Disney films. Psst, The Little Mermaid is my fave. Wishing to be a part of the art world to escape the limitations of reality, Kartika gravitated toward Adobe to express freedom. Her kid in the candy store creative vibe is inspired by her passion for children's illustrations and love for playing with bright colors and shapes. As an illustrator, Kartika has always used Adobe products. Adobe Dimensions rendering engine lets her explore fantastic shapes and hues, but now she uses Substance 3D Stager instead and it's an essential part of Kartika's creative process since it produces higher quality renderings and has amazing material options. Making art isn't just a vehicle to express her feelings and ideas, it's a lifestyle that empowers her to create and escape to fantastical new places. And to Kartika's colorful places, escape we shall indeed. For our next escape, let's time travel to a post-apocalyptic future to meet our next 3D artist, Domenico Dialisa. As you'll see, Dom is no stranger to the creative runway and could spell Dolce e Gabbana at an early age because his family exposed him to the fashion world. Those lessons in style influenced his pose aesthetic choices, and his art does a ripping catwalk down the creative runway. Apomixes is one of the characters he created for the series Eaton, a series he plans to finish as a short film or even a small indie game someday. His fascination with novels like The Handmaid's Tale and The Wet Nurse from the game Bloodborne heavily influenced each character's design aesthetic. 
He imagined a creepy futuristic nurse for the story of Eaton. It's safe to say Dom definitely achieved that goal. I mean, I'm creeped out, and yet I can't look away. He sketched a simple mask in ZBrush to give the nurse an unexpressive, haunting face, almost like a death mask. After that, Dom played around in Marvelous Designer to recreate the styles of war nurses during World War I, yet with a futuristic twist. Now that's fascinating. Hmm, imagine getting treated by this nurse. Finally, Dom hopped into Substance Painter for texturing and then finalized the post-processing in Photoshop. Now this piece, Breathless, which is a Eaton character concept of a lonely wanderer exploring a dying planet, was inspired by the film Gattaca. Notice he holds what appears to be a respirator tank connected to a protective mask. <laughs> this theme is certainly immediate, but let's move on. Dom's ties to fashion, love of post-apocalyptic worlds, and jamming to the band Radiohead compels him to escape today as well as explore the dystopian world of tomorrow with Adobe 3D. And our last 3D savant, but certainly not least, is Anna Natter. <laughs> She's literally a one-person creative agency, also known as a creative virtuoso. Anna grew up shoulder to shoulder, brush to brush with artists. In other words, she was born in an ideal scenario to escape artistically at a moment's notice. So I'm not surprised that her artwork, Living Plants, was created on a cold rainy day at the start of spring in Germany, which can go from hot to suddenly freezing and even snowy in a matter of days. But on that cold rainy day, Anna created rays of sunshine and warmth and that was Anna's way to uplift her spirits and brighten the days ahead to escape isolation and defeat the gray monster that consumed her environment. She longed for nature to come alive and creating this colorful bouquet with the help of Adobe was euphoric. Anna has always been obsessed with generative organic models that are created quote unquote by accident with all kinds of plugins. Creating a busy scene with flowers, small animals, and pops of color is her style. Anna used VR to create this piece called Angel to make cotton candy inspired models and bubbles in Adobe Medium. After collecting every model, she dropped everything into Adobe Dimension for staging and rendering. Dimension was her favorite software for rendering, but now it's been overtaken by Substance 3D Stager. I mean, it's so clear that this angel is getting lifted by all this color. Anna has loved Adobe 3D apps since first using Dimension in 2017. Their intuitiveness let her go through her creative process uninterrupted. Anna also really enjoys Substance 3D Stager. Its interoperability with the Substance apps works very well for her, and she really loves the workflow of sending assets between apps with a click. Anna uses Adobe Stock a lot too. She can drag and drop assets immediately in her scene in Stager. So all of these little things that are actually huge make her life so much easier while tackling projects. Anna can't wait to see what's coming next from Adobe and all the new ways she can create and escape to brighter days. And to all those artists, I say, always have an escape plan. So what are you creating? Let us know. We're always on the lookout for talented artists. If you want us to feature your artwork, feel free to share it at hashtag StudioShare and follow us at NVIDIA Creators. 